I don't know um, if this is exactly in the point, but it's something I'd uh, like to share with you. <coughs> the idea that the event is never that which determines your fate. It's your coping with the event. Mm -hmm. Death, sickness, all kinds of things happen to human beings. And the fate of what happens as a result is in the coping. I, I know a lot of people who say, well, if you lived right, you wouldn't have those things to cope with. I don't think we know enough about that, how we can avoid things. And I don't mm -hmm. think avoiding things is helpful anyway. But, we, but it's the coping with these things that give us the kind of strength and, and give us our opportunities. Mm -hmm. So death is something to cope with. Yeah. We all are going to die one day. And, and you also point out quite a bit that we all have weaknesses. We're all imperfect. None of us can see our own back. Right, exactly. This is important to remember, too, uh -huh. because the piece, how I look at reality, mm -hmm. no, I'll, put, I'll change that. How, what I think a reality is, is what I see, okay? What I see is not the total reality, and here's where the back comes in. You've got a back, and everybody's got a back, but how many people have seen it? A lot of other people see your back, but you yeah. don't see it. So we always have the unknown just right, uh, right behind us. That's right, and that's we see when I when you start putting things together like that, Jeff, then you begin to get a, an awareness of the absurdity of thinking that all there is in the world is what you see in it. Well, you focused quite a lot in your lifetime on human potential, on dealing with people who come, you know, from tormented families where, where, where there was abuse, where the parents didn't get along with each other. These are the kind of situations that I suppose socially we, we tend to blame on our worst social problems, drugs and, and crime. And, and you feel very hopeful that a person's life need not be conditioned uh, by their past. Well, it's regard. not only a matter of my feeling, but I've demonstrated that. Mm -hmm. Now, let me give you a little metaphor. Let's think that the human being has countless number of little jets, that there is a fountain inside that has countless number of jets. And if our energy were free to flow, then these jets were all open, mm -hmm. that this would just put in fantastic energy. But most of these, or many of these jets, are closed. Mm -hmm. There, we shouldn't do this and we shouldn't do that and who's going to hate us if we do this and that and something else. So as a result, we, we live half lives. No. When, when you say it sounds like they're closed because of our own sort of mental chatter. Exactly, exactly. What, uh, there are all the rules about what we shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. When we open those up, you know, you know what happens to a fountain where only some of the jets will, will let water come out? Yeah. Sometimes the water comes out in big gushes in some of them, mm -hmm. and, and it's very uneven right. because the central pressure to make the water come out is stopped by the holes that are stopped. Mm -hmm. okay. And I believe that's our central place inside of us with the energy. Mm -hmm. So opening up all of these holes, so to speak, which are our feelings and are our possibilities, and that when we allow that to happen, then we become in a totally different place because we then can have harmony moving and we have the total force of the energy that's possible. And that's all I've done with people is open up. Help people get really in touch with their feelings again. Their feelings and allow themselves to remember that their feelings are not the, the parts of them that decide what should happen. Feelings are like a temperature, a thermometer, which say what things are. You move over to another part of yourself when you make decisions. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people have said, if you, if you go into your feelings, that's going to be the basis of your decisions. You'll make a bad decision then. So that's stop, right. cut off your feelings completely. And so know. what is the important thing is that our feelings are like the juice that keeps us in a whole piece mm -hmm. and gives us the ability to see better, to think better, to feel better. They owned emotions. Mm -hmm. But an emotion that you have which isn't owned you say, no, I don't have it, yeah. is one that splits your energy because mm -hmm. it puts you into this kind of thing. You cannot say that you aren't what you are. Now, what I mean is, yes, you can say that, but that doesn't change it. Mm -hmm. If you're angry, for instance, and you say, oh, no, I'm not angry, or you're feeling very excited about something, you say, no, I'm not excited. <laughs> See, those are the kinds of emotional mm -hmm. lies yeah. that, that just steal our energy away. Mm -hmm.